Hey guys, hello gorgeous. A little bit of a roller coaster of emotions for toy fans out there with the announcing of the bankruptcy of Toys R Us in the States and then uh, the announcement that KB Toys will be rising up from the ashes to return and then uh, just the past uh, news this week that the founder of Toys R Us has passed away. Charles Lazarus made it to his 90s, and uh, I used to be one of those people who would go, well, at least he lived a long, full life. But uh, one of my friends said years ago, you know, even if your mother makes it to 103 and she passes away, it still hurts. And I always try to keep that in mind. So uh, my thoughts and positive energy goes out to the family of Charles Lazarus. Uh, I think he, he did a lot of good while he was here, and I'll always be grateful uh, for the memories uh, of Toys R Us growing up in the 80s. Seems like there are very few people like him left in the world. Uh, men who were businessmen, who were, yes, driven by profit, but they were seem to also be equally driven by something else. And that something else, in my mind, it felt like they were driven by self-respect, as well as caring and concern for those around them, especially children. Um, I've seen a couple of interviews with Charles Lazarus, and I'll post a link to a great one that I recently watched in the description of this video. But he seems to me like uh, very similar to Lou Scheimer, the uh, gentleman who was behind Filmation, the animation company that made He-Man and She-Ra and Brave Star. And to me, Lou always seemed like a guy who, yes, it was important for him to make money, turn a profit, feed his family, pay his bills, as well as help all of his employees do the same. But Lou was also driven by something else, and it was a sense of honor and integrity, um, justice, and all those great things that are in those 80s cartoons. It seems to me like Charles Lazarus wasn't just about making money off of kids, but he was about making special memories that decades later, with the announcing of the closing of a chain of toy stores, there's people who are, are getting very emotional about it. It's not just like the closing of a fast food restaurant or some other um, business that provides a product or a service. There's lots of people who are actually getting really emotional about it, uh, shedding tears about it, because Toys R Us was such a special place to them. And a lot of that is thanks to Charles Lazarus and his vision of not just a store that had a lot of toys, but an opportunity to create wonderful memories uh, with children and their parents. So uh, he was a rare breed, and he will sorely be missed. So sad news with the announcement of the closing of Toys R Us and now the passing of the founder of Toys R Us. It seems like that chapter in uh, toy history has closed, but I always say for every door that closes, another one opens and it looks like a phoenix will rise from the ashes of the biggest toy store there was and KB Toys is, is returning. So. Having grown up in Canada, I never had a KB Toys. Uh, for me, it was the toy sections of stores like Zellers or Towers or Woolco or Woolworth. Uh, there was a great one in Kitchener called Highway Market where I got all of my early 82, 83 Joes. But we never had a KB Toys. And the first time I ever set foot in a KB Toys was actually uh, in the States in the 90s, I think. And uh, I picked up one of those um, Spider-Man Classics exclusives. They had the Scarlet Spider and the uh, Spider-Man 2099 figure, or I think that was what it was, 20, yeah, 2099. So I couldn't find those anywhere in stores and that's when exclusives and chase figures were just starting for me. Uh, I had been used to being able to get any figure I wanted in pretty much any store I wanted, so uh, KB was my first experience of holding a figure in my hand that since the internet wasn't even really all that prevalent back then it's not like I even saw pictures of it or reviews on YouTube of it it really was this really special moment of I've been hunting this thing and I hunted it all across 
my province and couldn't find it. And now I've entered this foreign country and finally I have it. So that was a pretty big thrill. But it makes sense to me that with the closing of Toys R Us and all of this positive outpouring, uh, positive thoughts uh, coming out, it has to go somewhere. Or it would be smart for a company to take advantage of it at least. And so... Uh, it's smart for these toys. They can't sell them all. They can't put them all on clearance and get rid of them all. It's smart for somebody to open up a chain of smaller toy stores, maybe in malls or in, in smaller shops. And the stock is there. It's ready to fill the store up. And it's really smart to take another known brand name and in, in the face of this beloved brand name of Toys R Us going down, to rise up out of the ashes like a phoenix and say, but a positive has come out of this too. KB Toys is returning. So I'm very happy for all the people in the United States who no longer have a Toys R Us to go to. Now they're gonna have something a little smaller scale, but still it's gonna be cool to, for, for adults or for uh, parents with children to be able to take their kids into a KB Toys and still be immersed and surrounded with toys. Since Toys R Us is still going to be continuing in Canada for the time being, not sure how long that's going to last. I visited my local Toys R Us recently and a lot of stuff was on clearance, so the writing might be on the wall for at least that location in Kitchener. But uh, no announcement yet whether KB is going to be coming into Canada or not. I don't know how well KB Toys would do in Canada anyway, since we never had them growing up, so we don't have that nostalgia attached to it. But there is a great chain of uh, stores in the Toronto area called Toys, Toys, Toys. There used to be one at Square One in Mississauga, and uh, there's one in Fairview Mall, I think, in Toronto as well. And um, I would relate that to a KB Toys. It's in a mall. It's not a giant, huge store like a Toys R Us, but it, it is still that feeling when you walk in you're immersed in all sorts of different brands it's not like half the store is barbie and the other half is transformers there's that variety that i loved so much uh at toys r us uh back in the day and and they still have to this day and the ones that are still open so if you're an avid toy collector in the gta and you're feeling a little bit left out with this kb news uh, check out Toys, Toys, Toys in one of the giant malls in Toronto. And for you toy fans in the States, always remember that when one door closes, another one will open. So I'm very happy for you guys. KB is returning. Lots of great memories will be flooding back, coming back. And you never know, maybe in 20 or 30 years, maybe somebody will say, hey, it's about time Toys R Us came back as well. If you'd like to share a KB Toys memory, scroll down and go to town. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Nerdmas Day.